Well, my son made a huge mistake. This is the 23 year old. He made a huge mistake because he, so he's been in, I shouldn't say entertaining, but he's been talking to two girls. And he's been kind of on the fence. Like he started with one, I heard lots of stuff about her, a lot of good stuff. And like the only thing, and I know this is very superficial, but the only like negative I heard was that she likes to change her hair color depending on the seasons. My son is very, you know, like he likes consistency. So, you know, he's a guy, whatever. But I mean, if that's like the worst thing he can say, then that's pretty good, right? So then he starts talking to this other girl and he's very open about this. So he's not talking behind anybody's back. He's very open and like, you know, I know that you're talking to other people, so am I. So, you know, nothing crazy. But so he starts talking to this other girl and he really likes her. So he calls me one day and he's like, oh, I have this dilemma. You know, there's this girl and I like her and like, here's the pros and cons and I like this girl and here's the pros and cons. Well, when it comes down to it, like, they're pretty similar. Like their cons are so extremely minor that it would be very hard because he hasn't gotten far enough along in the relationships, right? Like it's not actually a relationship to be able to have like true cons. Like they're very superficial, stupid stuff. So, we, you know, we're talking, he's like, I just, I, you know, like I have to be careful. I don't want things to go too far and, and me not have made a decision and this is very hard because, because these girls both have good personalities they have good jobs they're like you know self-motivated so they're all the traits that he would really want in a girl these both of these girls had so it was he was having a dilemma so then one day i get the call that well one just made it kind of easy so what happened was one of the girls he he didn't change jobs, but like his job was like a little bit different. So it gave him more time to talk on the phone and kind of keep in touch a little bit more. And so then all of a sudden when his job went back to normal, it made her feel like a little bit insecure, which, and I don't know if it's true insecurity, but maybe a little bit like questioning a little bit. Now my children have been taught that like, you know, controlling and jealousy, and that's just not something we deal with. So they're very like alert to any type of situation like that. So he could have even been a little bit like too soon to judge if, you know, if maybe she was acting in a way that wasn't something he would have really liked. So he's thinking that, you know, maybe this is not going to be a good fit for him. Meanwhile, there's the other girl. So far, all is going well with her. So the other day he calls me and he's on his way home and the like so him and the first girl you know the one that changes the hair color they're not talking as much right now because he kind of got a little weirded out by the you know maybe insecurity just not being available as much as she would have wanted so he's a little bit off by that so the other girl goes and you know she's at the house and he's off working he goes she goes and she makes some dinner. So he's like coming home to her making dinner. He goes, like, we're on the phone. She had to run out. So he's like, as we're on the phone, he's like, oh my gosh, she did my laundry. So he's like really impressed. And like, look, to have a girl cook for him and do his laundry is amazing to him because his mother never did. <laughs> like I did his laundry to a point. I cooked up until the point he could cook for himself, probably six or seven. You know, like his, like whatever he kind of depended on how old he was at the time. Now, of course I cooked some, but then I was married and then like, you know, my husband would have cooked. It just like, it just didn't work. Like me cooking, I'm not good at cooking. So for her to cook and do his laundry, huge plus, which I think actually any guy would like that. So, he goes home, so cooked a meal and laundry done, and it was amazing. They're not living together, she's just visiting. So then I get the phone call the other day. 
And let me just tell you, like, this is the kid that doesn't screw up. Like, he's the one where there's a line and he doesn't cross it. So he is never known as the screw up. But I have to tell you, within the last week in our family, he's known as the screw up. Because he made the worst mistake ever. He went. And so, like, the girl, so the other girl's kind of taking a back seat right now. They're not talking as much. The girl that's at the house is cooking and doing the laundry. She's just going to be there for a couple of days. But I guess she started nagging him a little bit. And he made the mistake of telling her to calm down, which we know is a bad deal. But he even, like, to make that worse, he said, calm down, Michelle. Michelle is the ex-girlfriend. He does not speak highly of her. Needless to say, the girl that had cooked and cleaned his laundry did not respond to his apology and has had no more communication with him since. He blew that one. Now on a positive note, the other girl, they're talking more now. So maybe it was a good thing. And honestly, I did see pictures of both the girls and I already kind of had a favorite anyway. I mean, not that it really matters because what, I'm just mom, so I really have no choice. But this video will bite me in the ass because let me tell you what will happen. If I go and I tell you who my choice was, then that means that what will actually happen is he will choose the opposite of what my choice is and then she will hate me for the rest of our lives and that will be the one he marries and has kids. So guess what? I have no choice. I have no preference. The only thing I want in life for my kids is for them to be happy and for them, as for the boys, for them to be with strong women who have self-confidence, who have no jealous issues, but you know, like normal stuff, whatever, but no jealous, like weird controlling stuff and for them to love my sons. That's all I really care about. Now, let me tell you this. Yesterday, this very son almost told me to calm down. That just sent me over the edge. Like just the thought of him telling me to calm down pissed me off. Because then the older son who's 25, he and I are talking, he's trying to calm me down because I'm upset about something, which I was rightfully, to, you know, like rightfully so. Anyway, I say to my son, I tell him that the 23 year old, Blake, almost told me to calm down. So my oldest son then says, so wait a second, you're upset with him because he almost but did not, but you know it was on the tip of his tongue, told you to calm down? Yeah, I'm a woman. I get to be upset about that stuff. Okay, maybe, maybe I shouldn't be upset about it. I mean, I'm not upset now, but maybe I was overreacting a little bit, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I get, I, I have emotions. Not a lot, I'm very logical, but at times, so I can have what I have. 